In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a very simple granny square. There are many different ways to make a granny square. This is just one technique that I'm going to show you, but I'm going to show you the two different ways to make this particular granny square pattern. The one way is with one solid color or just one skein of yarn. If that one skein is changing colors, on its own, it's variegated, and you just wanna keep using that one skin of yarn until it's all gone. You're gonna use this pattern technique right here. If you want to control the color changes yourself, maybe you want row one to be one color, row two to be another color, and each row to be its own solid color, the pattern does change slightly, and I wanna address that. That way you can make this granny square pattern in either way, however you want to use the pattern. If at any point in this video you do like what you see, please push that thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel and click the bell, that way you don't miss any of my videos. I try to release a brand new video every single Friday covering a wide range of different types of crochet projects, and you're not gonna wanna miss out. This pattern can be made with any size yarn, which is super great. So you can use anything that you have available to you from super fine to mega bulky. All these yarns will be able to perform this particular pattern. I am using a size four weight worsted medium Aran 10 to 12 ply yarn to perform this example. The crochet hook that is recommended for this size yarn is generally an H8 or five millimeter crochet hook. I decided to just go up a crochet hook size to an I9 or 5.5 millimeter crochet hook just to make my stitches a little looser and more moldable, more comfortable for what I'm doing. You could also go down a size to a G6 or 4.5, 4.25 millimeter crochet hook if that's what you have available to you or if you want your stitches to be much tighter in whatever you are making. I also recommend using a pair of scissors just to cut your yarn off wherever you want to make that cut and a yarn needle tapestry needle to weave in your ends at the end of the project. Beginning with the color of yarn that you will start with in the very center of your granny square, leaving enough room to weave in our ends at the end of the project when we are all done. I leave about four inches here, four or five inches, and then I create my slip knot, attach my crochet hook, and I'm ready to go. We begin by chaining six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Now we are going to slip stitch in the very first chain to make a ring or a circle. Yarn over, pull through, and pull all the way through to make that circle. We are all set up to start round one. We are working in rounds for our granny square. Chain two. One, two, make two double crochets inside the ring, yarn over, insert your crochet hook in the ring, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. If you need more practice with your double crochet stitches, check out my video right here where I do very slow instructions on how to do a double crochet stitch so you can be all set up for success. All right, second double crochet stitch. That first chain two counts as our very first double crochet stitch. So this is our first group of three double crochets. We want a total of four groups to end round one. After your first group, you will chain two, one, two, make three more double crochets inside the ring, one, two, three, chain two, one, two, three more double crochets inside the ring, one, two, three, got my three groups, need one more group, so chain two, one, two, and last group of three double crochets. One, two, three, perfect. Chain two, one, two. And now we're going to slip stitch into the top of that second chain. 
to close off round one. Round one should look like this. For round two, if you are using the exact same yarn to continue on, you will chain three. One, two, three, and then you will make two double crochet in this corner space right behind your stitch. So yarn over, insert your crochet hook into this corner space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. One more double crochet, and then we can move forward. To hop over this group of three, we will chain one, and in this next corner, we will make three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. One, two, three, chain two, one, two. That chain two helps us to create a point in our square. And three double crochet. One, two, three. There we go. Okay, to hop over this group of three double crochets, we will chain one. In this next corner, we will do three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. One, two, three, chain two, one, two, and three double crochets. One, two, three, chain one to hop over the group of three. Next corner, three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. One, two, three, chain two, three double crochets. One, two, three, chain one, hop over this group of three. Last corner, we already have a group of three in this corner, so we're going to do a three double crochet, chain two, so three double crochet, two, three, chain two, one, two, and then slip stitch into the third chain or that top chain of the chain three to close off round two. And this is what you should be looking at. For round three, we will do exactly what we did for round two. We begin by chaining three. One, two, three. Make two double crochet in the corner space behind our stitches. One, two, chain one to hop over that group of three double crochets. In this chain one space, we're going to make three double crochets. One, two, three, chain one to hop over this group of three double crochets. In the corner stitch, we're going to make three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. One, two, three, chain two, one, two, three double crochets. One, two, three, Chain one, hop over this group of three. In this chain one space, make three double crochets. One, two, three, chain one, hop over the group of three. In this corner stitch, make three double crochets. Chain two, three double crochets. One, two, 
three, chain two, three more double crochets, one, two, three. In this last chain. corner space, we already have a group of three double crochets in here. So all we're going to do is make three double crochets and two chains. One, two, three, chain two, and then slip stitch into the third chain of that chain three we began with. And this is how round three should look. For the rest of your granny square, if you are using one solid color or just the same skein of yarn that has a variegated color but you're not changing other yarns into your granny square, you're just going to repeat round two over and over and over again until you reach your desired size of your granny square. Each corner will include three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. Then you'll chain one to hop over your group of three. And in each chain one space, you'll make three double crochets. Same thing, in your last corner, you will always begin with a three double crochet. So to end your granny square, you will always end making three double crochets, chain two, and then slip stitching into the third chain that you began with. That is how you will make a granny square using one color. To work this granny square stitch, changing color for each row that you have for the granny square. We're gonna start with whatever color you wanna start with in the very center of your granny square. Again, begin with a long enough tail where you can weave in the ends at the end of your project and then create your slip knot. Insert your crochet hook and we are ready to begin. You begin just like we did the other granny square by chaining six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Great. Slip stitch into the very first chain to create a circle or a ring. There we go. There's our circle. Okay, we are all set up for round one. Round one, we will begin by chaining two. One, two. Make two double crochet inside the circle. One, two, chain two, one, two. Make three double crochet inside the circle. One, two, three, chain two, one, two. Make three double crochets inside the circle. One, two, three, chain two, one, two, three double crochets inside the circle. One, two, three, we are looking for four groups of three. So I have one, two, three, four, chain two, one, two, and now I can close my round one by slip stitching into the second chain that we began with. Great, so your round one should look like this. Grab your scissors, cut off your yarn with a long enough tail for you to weave in your ends. Find your color two or your color B. My color B will be this lighter gray color, kind of silver color. I'm going to take my crochet hook, take my yarn, I'm going to yarn over, pull that tail through the loop and pull that tight for a slip knot. For round two, take color B or your second color. Again, begin with a long enough tail for you to weave in that end. Create your slip knot. Attach your crochet hook. Perfect. Now in that corner that we just finished with, just made, I'm going to insert my crochet hook, 
into that corner and I'm going to slip stitch to attach this yarn to my project. There we go. Just one loop on my hook and I'm ready to begin round two. Round two, we will begin by chaining two. One, two, make two double crochets inside this corner space. One, two, chain two, one, two, and three more double crochets inside this corner space. One, two, three. Perfect. That is our first corner stitch right there. For all of these little tails, I just want you to let them fall behind the work. We will weave all of those in at the end of the project. Great. Once you've finished your three double crochets, we will chain one to hop over this group of three double crochets. In the next corner, we will make three double crochets, two chains, and three double crochets. One, two, three, two chains, and then three double crochets. One, two, three. Great. Chain one to hop over this group of three. Next corner, we're going to make three double crochets two chains, three double crochets, three. Great. Chain one to hop over this last group of three and slip stitch into the second chain of your chain two that we began our round two with. Grab your scissors, cut a long enough tail for you to weave in your end at the end of the project. Yarn over, pull that tail through the loop, pull tight for a slip knot, and your round two is done. And this is what you will be left with. Grab color number three. What is the third color you're going to use? Again, begin with a long enough tail to weave in that end. Create your slip knot. Grab your crochet hook. And we are ready to begin. So we ended this round before the corner, but we always want to start a round in the corner. So I'm going to go to the next closest corner to where I ended this round. I will slip stitch to attach this new color to my project. And then in this corner, I will chain two, one, two. That chain two counts as my very first double crochet. Make two double crochets. One, two, and that'll be my first group of three double crochets. Chain two, one, two, and three double crochets. One, two, three. Chain one to hop over your group of three. In the next chain one space, make three double crochets. One, two, three, chain one, hop over this next group of three double crochets. In the corner stitch, we're going to do three double crochets, two chains, and three double crochets. Three, one. chain one, hop over this last group of three, and slip stitch into the second chain that we began with. And that will close round three. And this is approximately what you should be looking at at the end of round three. Grabbing your scissors, cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to weave in your ends. Yarn over, pull that tail through the loop, pull tight for a slip knot, and there we are. So for round four, you're just gonna grab your next color. In my case, it would be a white. And you basically just repeat what you did in round three. You have the pattern. You know what you're doing. To hop over a group of three, you will chain one. When you come upon a chain one stitch, you will make three double crochets in that chain one space. And chain one, hop over this group of three. Next chain one space, you will make three double crochets. In every corner, you will make sure there are three double crochets. Chain two, three double crochet. You will keep repeating round three 
over and over and over until you've reached your desired size of your granny square, repeating your color choices or just having a different color for every row. Once you've reached the very end of your granny square, when you've reached your desired size, you will grab your yarn needle tapestry needle. You will take your ends and you will weave in those ends in the same color as the tail itself. And then you will be done with your granny square. And there's so many different things that you can make with granny squares. It's very exciting. You can either just continue making one as big as you want to make a full blanket, as large as you want that blanket to be. You can sew these or crochet these squares together and make a blanket that way. So you just make a bunch of individual smaller sizes that are the same size or alternating sizes. It's so much fun. There's so much you can do with granny squares, different colors, different vibes that you can bring with them. You can make purses, you can make sweaters. There's just, it's a lot and it's very exciting. So once you have a basic granny square, there's so much you can do and I'm so excited for you to learn this and be on your way. So many possibilities. Thank you so much for watching my video. Again, if you enjoyed this tutorial of the granny square, please push that thumbs up button and I look forward to seeing you with my next tutorial. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye.